I've already installed Collector for ArcGIS on my smartphone. I'm using an Android, but this will also work uh, equally as well on an iOS. Uh, and I believe that there's also uh, a Collector for ArcGIS application for the Windows phone. Now you can see as soon as I launch this that I already uh, am seeing my real-time GIS restaurants um, project here in Collector. So if I launch that by touching it, Collector is, is noticing that uh, I currently do not have my GPS turned on on this uh, on this mobile device. So I'm going to click settings and a lot of you will probably see that and I'm going to jump out now to the location access on this Android and I simply need to turn that on. This is absolutely critical if this real-time GIS is going to work. I have to go through the agreements on this uh, mobile device. I agree a second time. Now I, I click the back button uh, and I have returned to the real-time GIS restaurants web map and it has a guess at my location. Now I'm actually sitting indoors so my location is not going to be the greatest um, but I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'll zoom in a little bit more I can see already that this is off by you know several, several hundred meters simply because I'm uh, as I said I'm indoors and I actually I'm in the basement but let's assume that this is actually where I am. All that I need to do now, if this is the location of my favorite restaurant or a restaurant that I, I just had breakfast in or just had, had lunch, I can click this button right here. And now I am going to collect a new feature. And it's asking me, is this a fast food? family style or other type of restaurant. I'll say that this is a fast food restaurant. So I touched it. A selection has already been made for us under restaurant type which is fast food. That's based on the click I just did. And now here is my ratings. Again, the, the end user is seeing this information we entered into our ArcGIS or ArcMap. Zero is bad, five is fantastic. Remember, we're using that um, coded values attribute domain and the alias for this specific field. So I'm going to click on this drop down and there we go we see our selections and I'm gonna say hey this was a fantastic uh, bunch of food. The cost rating right down here again using that same domain I'm gonna touch on it and I'm gonna say hey this was this was inexpensive as well. I'm going to give it a one for cost. Hey, it's almost free and it was fantastic. You can't get better than that. And I'm so impressed. I'm just going to say wow. And I'm done. Now this is really neat here. I can uh, choose to enter a date. That's one of the other um, pieces of information that was, was in our database. But instead of me typing in all this good stuff and oh boy, all this good stuff, I'm going to say use my current date and it automatically uh, enters that for me. The last thing I'd want to do uh, is to uh, do an attachment. So if I want to if I want to make an attachment, I can simply click on this attachment right here and it asks me what do I want to make the uh, how do I want to make the attachment well uh, I can either use the camera built into my mobile device or go to the gallery uh, where maybe I've taken a picture just a couple minutes ago and I'm gonna select that so I'm gonna choose to use my camera and here it is well it's my empty plate it's an empty plate that I have here that you're not gonna see too much because uh, I already swallowed it I should have done this before take a picture of that And now our collector is asking me, do I want to keep this? Is this something good? And if I want to keep it, this is good. Look for the little check mark. Yes, keep this. Submit this. Okay, I'm going to look over my entire entry. 
And uh, now I'm going to submit the entire entry by clicking the check box or the check mark right up here. There we go. That is real-time GIS.